Today we're going to be making Starbucks copycat cranberry bliss bars. I'm super excited to show you this recipe. We're going to start off by melting one and a half sticks of salted butter in the microwave for one minute. Carefully adding in one and a half cups of light brown sugar. Mix them together and then pour it into a big mixing bowl. Add in three fourths of a teaspoon of vanilla, which is basically one fourth three times. Add in two eggs and cream everything together. Now we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. Into the bowl goes two and one fourth cup of all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, practically a pinch, I'm not a big fan of big chunks of cranberries, so I'm going to roughly chop about half a cup. If you don't care how big they are, then just skip this part and add it to the batter. Next we're going to add in 6 ounces of white baking chocolate, coarsely chopped. I use the Great Value Almond Bark brand. Add it in with the cranberries and give everything a good mix. Once everything is mixed, we're going to spread out our batter into a 13 by 9 inch baking dish. I highly suggest lining your baking dish with some parchment, like so. Into the oven at 350 degrees for 18 to 21 minutes is what the recipe suggests. I checked mine in around 21 minutes and it just seemed really soft, so I left it in for another 10 minutes. So depending on your oven, you might need to leave your bars in for a little bit longer too. While that's cooling, we're gonna get working on the frosting. Into a bowl goes eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. Add in one cup of powdered sugar and mix until well blended. The recipe says to melt six ounces of white baking chocolate. Again, I use the Great Value Almond Bark and pour in half of the melted chocolate. Beat until well blended. I wasn't paying attention. You're supposed to reserve the other half for drizzling. I just added the second half to the bowl. Oops. I honestly don't think it matters which way you do it. I scooped out about a spoonful or two of the frosting and stuck it in a piping bag for the drizzle. Who's gonna know it isn't straight up melted chocolate? It tastes the same. It tastes good, it looks just as good, it sets up exactly the same. I think it turned out great. I will say this, the recipe doesn't mention it but I would suggest sticking your bars in the fridge for 30 minutes so the frosting has a chance to set before you slice into them. That way you'll get a nice clean slice when you go to cut your bars. What I really like about this frosting is that it does set, but when you bite into it, it's not hard as a rock. It's not like biting into a brick of chocolate, but rather soft and creamy. I hope you give this recipe a try. It's very easy to make. It makes a ton of bars and I bet they freeze well too. And once they've set, they are stackable. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.